Guys looking really green around here now. I must have picked the most arid place to lay Delta Base down, because there's no greenery up there, except the ones I put down. Now, it's supposed to be behind here, but I'm starting to think that there might not actually be an obvious way to pass back here. Yeah. Not sure what would get me around here. I, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go look in this cave again. There's still some ice on the ground. I might pick up ice if I see any crystals. And sulfur. I desperately need sulfur. I guess the osmium. There they go. A couple hidden away in corners. Sneaky. The, uh, the further sections of ice might have melted by now. Osmium is not a big of a problem as sulfur. This, I remember where this gets me, it gets me in there. This has melted back. Okay. We've got a deeper section of the cave. With very interesting formations. We've got a bunch of super alloys, some aluminium, a sulfur, uranium. I'm even going to leave that eggplant seed. I said I was going to start picking up eggplant seeds uh, more rapidly. but um, Or just seeds, all seeds in general. But I don't need eggplant seeds. Now, what am I looking for? Zena Zeonite. Zeonite? Uh, I get the feeling I might find some. There's some odd things around here. Now, here's my fear. This is Zenonite, or whatever it's called. But you can't just pick it off the ground. You may need a tier 2 mine for it. Which is a bit of a problem. It's definitely um, a glowy crystal of some description. But I don't see any way of collecting any of this. What's up here? That takes you out into the pouring rain. Before I do that, yeah, I get the feeling you actually need to place down a mine for this stuff, and it won't work with a tier one. Hmm. There's lots of iron in here, though. I don't know if these uh, formations on the roof mean anything in particular. I'm going to quickly navigate up here, though. Keep my eye open for boxes. Uh, oxygen multiplier fuse. I'll definitely take one of those. I'll take uh, sulfur and the nulna seed. And the mushroom seed. Okay, it looks like we're heading back now. But I think I can scout for a little longer. Aluminium. There is a path here somewhere. I think all the caves might be open. It might be worthwhile checking some of the frozen areas. Where the hell am I? I think this is that um, crater I mentioned earlier. Oh, go on, we'll have a look. I don't think it's going to hurt me. It's going to severely reduce my vision, though. Just dive straight down into the heart of what I think is now quite clearly a volcano. Iron and magnesium. You know, if I, cli if I jump into a volcano, I damn well expect to find some decent stuff here. Iridium, but I... Uh, alright, let's drop off... Okay, everything I've got here, actually. Free fertilizer. I'll just have to remember that's here and come back for it. I don't think I want to drop anything off for any of that. Pretty much exchanging like for like at this point. Yeah, I gotta remember to come back here. Is that... There's even super alloy around here. Okay. I'll have to come back here. Ooh, I don't really feel like I should be here. It's just titanium. 
I gotta remember not to die of oxygen deprivation. Maybe I can get back through Epsilon base, if I can find my way out of here. I can grab one of something. Oh, perfect. And that takes me up to... Oh, wow. There's the wreck I haven't been before. Alright, I think I know how to get back here. I'm gonna have to do another expedition. Now, uh... Unless I find it on the ground somewhere, I'm fairly certain that new material I'm gonna need to... Whoa, 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 whoa. What, the underground mushroom kingdom? There's life already on this planet. Has that always been here? The Mushroom River. This place already had life. Oh, this... Like... That's really cool. Oh my... Ah, oh, you know what I think? I think it also had a civilization. Or someone's been worshipping the giant magic mushroom. Open the warden's altar. That sounds like a bad idea. Let's do it. This device seems to be used to open a mechanism. I'll look for a key for that. Uh, lock for that key. I've literally... I've stumbled... Almost in spite of myself, all across the Mushroom Kingdom. I don't even know how to get out of here. I think I have to go back the way I came. I'm gonna look for an entrance closer to Epsilon base. But that, yeah, that's an altar with a, a device on it. That is that is clear evidence of a civilization. Even a water wheel here. Read message. This underground cave is a blessing for us wardens. It has a lot of resources and is underground. Allowing... Hang on. Give me one second. Um, this planet has chosen really carefully. Has been chosen really carefully and now I understand why. I can't wait to start building our settlement and filling our destiny. A warden year unknown. The wardens are a species? Do I pop this in here? Oh, that's... yeah. Warden's key opens a door. I got one oxygen capsule and one water bottle remaining. I'd better be really careful. Yeah, okay, so I found the remnants of a dead ancient civilization that had water wheels and magical unknown things. Oh, I'll go on. I can't resist but have a look. I mean... I guess there must be some reason why uh, this company is so interested in colonizing this place. Uh, we were struck by the our resemblance at first. We were almost exactly the same. Our scientists told us it was because of our our celestial bodies were identical in every way, so our evolution, while independent, was very similar. It was like meeting a cousin you never knew you had. They even called us brothers uh, when they started to land on Treya. A few spaceships turned into dozens and slowly our worries grew. Our main dif differences were hidden deep inside. Biologically we were identical, but our minds had been shaped differently. By fate or by nature, the fact is when we realized it, it was already too late. Oh, did they did they come across the humans? Hold on. After all those years, all the suffering, we decided to leave our home soil. 
to go as far away as possible and to build a new home. Far from the terror, far from the strife, far from them. To stay hidden and uh, live our lives as we had for centuries, we carefully chose somewhere we could be safe. I gathered and gathered the last of our kind in our biggest vessel, and on a fateful night we left, fleeing their never-ending insatiability more than themselves. Alright, I'm out of oxygen. I gotta get- I gotta head out. But, you know, guess is- guess is that, um... Uh... These guys might have run into the humans, and the humans were a little too aggressive for their tastes. But, at the moment, I can't stay around here and check because I'm running really low on... Okay, this is an odd place. I'm running really low on oxygen. This is the way to Delta Base, but I want to double check there isn't any more any of that uh, stuff. Uh, I'll take the uranium and the iridium rods. Actually, you know what? I'll leave the iridium rods and take the super alloy since I'm more in need of that. But I've really got to get out of here. Okay, so in this weird rock formation west from Epsilon Base. No, not from, not west from Epsilon base. I'd really better get a move on though. I almost feel like I, I'm as far from Delta base as I am from Epsilon base. I know I can make it on one tank from Epsilon base to there. I probably could make it from here, but I don't want to risk it. So I'm going to refill oxygen and epsilon base. I'm going to take the safer route that I know I can make and just bring everything back. I'm not going to get another oxygen capsule. Because then I have to leave something behind. I'm going to need to have a think about that whole business. I have a flare, though. And a drone visualization rocket. Not a clue. We'll deal with that later. I got a bit of uranium out of that, which is always nice. A bit of iridium. I can always go back for more. Yes, I know, my hydration level is low. Put that away. We've now got an oxygen multiplier fuse, which means I should probably think about making another one of those machine optimizers. So it seems that we're not the first on this world. And it seems like they ran into someone. I don't know that they're humans. I don't know that the the people they ran into uh, were was the human race and their insatiable need for uh, to spread and uh, multiply and basically uh, rule the galaxy. But if that is the case, if that is the case, then the aliens should have picked a better galaxy to live in. I'm sorry, you know, humans rule, aliens drool. I have no sympathy for them. Let's make some more bioplastic nuggets. I can make three. I'd like to make that gas extractor, but I've yet to find zeolite, is what it was called, not xenocyte. I mean, I can make it if I can find the zeolite. Now, as I say, I think that, that that very much looks like those crystals I was seeing in that cave, but they weren't on the ground, which means the only way I'm going to get them is with the... Um, is with the mines, which is, in, which is uh, probably with the tier 2 or the tier 3... Or extractors. Heat is going up so slowly. I'm so behind on heat. Actually, I'm behind on oxygen as well. I thought I'd be doing better on oxygen. Pressure is going up really fast. Reasonably fast. But I think I, I need to do something about heat. I need that tier 4 heater. I'm almost there with the tier 4 heater. 
But I'll probably need zeolite for that too. The fertilizer. I wanted to make more algae spreaders, didn't I? That's what I... Uh, what was it the... It was the bioplastic nugget I needed that for. So flower spreaders for the... Uh, ones with just the super alloy. Alright. Flower spreaders then. I need the oxygen. And the plant growth. So that means I need... Four super alloy and four water bottles. Okay. And seeds for them. Which will be... Nolna seeds, then. Right. Right, 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 right. I'm gonna head back to Epsilon base, I think, and then chart for uh, the Mushroom Kingdom and look under there for some more stuff and hopefully some answers to that question. But before that, I think I'm gonna do some uh, collecting of materials. Well, this is really pretty over here. And you can start to see the first actual plants growing out of the ground now. That's becoming very visible. I've just got the tier 4 heater and I am still out. I'm looking for the entrance, if I can find it again, for that mushroom kingdom I found earlier and the uh, information on the wardens. I wonder if this has anything to do with it. I mean, obviously, as I say, my instinct is to look... My instinct... My instinct? My instinct is to look... Out of waterfall, and that certainly looks like some kind of entrance, doesn't it? I don't know. That square up there certainly looks like you can walk into it, but I don't know if I could make it. No, it doesn't look like it. I really should have marked where it was. I think it was around here somewhere. I'm starting to recognize those landmarks. There's a crashed ship over there. That I seem to remember. But it was hidden in a sort of cave somewhere, which might be hard to locate. It's been about a day since I last recorded, so... I don't remember where I went to get to the Mushroom Kingdom the first time. Epsilon base has gone blue for some reason. I don't know why. What do I need to build a beacon? Titanium, silicon, aluminium. Oh, aluminium is the problem. Well... If I can't find uh, the entrance... I might look at this ship, this wreck. I got a bit of time, I got four uh, refills of oxygen. And if I can just find one aluminium, I can have a beacon to put down when next I find an entrance to the Mushroom Kingdom. Which I can find in aluminium, and some uh, good stuff as well. I bring the seeds, and I do need them, but um, on this occasion, I kind of want to look out for other stuff. Hydration level low. Hmm. Staircase. An actual staircase. This seems like a bigger ship than the massive ship we just try to look in, but there wasn't much actually in. Just be careful I don't get lost. 
That would be unfortunate. Okay. Pods. There are people in here. Can we check? Oh, rocket engine. Might have to end up going back. Oh, I definitely want that Lerma seed, though. I'll take those bean seeds as well. Why not? Rather abortive attempt to... Uh, look for the location, but I am... I've got to find it. I've got to find the entrance again. I've already looked in there. Those are blocked off. I need a tier two, uh, constructor clip. I don't talk to Chip and I don't have one. Take the uranium, because I need more power. I'll take the sulfur. Leave the iridium. Alright. Alright, that's, that's an expedition I'm gonna have to come back to. I might search around for an entrance. If I find it, I'll put a beacon down. That way I'll know where I'm going next time. I won't have to hunt around. I should have done that in the first place, admittedly. But I didn't have the material on hand at the time. I could have sworn it was over here somewhere. There was... Th I remember these rocks. Although I might be misremembering. I could be wrong. I'm quite capable of that. We've discussed this on several occasions. Take the super alloy, leave the uranium. No sign. I can't actually entirely remember where I entered the Mushroom Kingdom. It was... Um... There was quite an obvious cave. I'm near the crater. Stick close to the crater wall. I'll look up here and just keep my eye out for any opening. Big ice cube that's gonna melt later. I may have to go back and review the footage to remember where I went. Actually, I have no idea how far away Gamma Base or... Uh, was this it? No, I think I know where I am. I think I came out here and then saw the crater. I've got one more oxygen capsule left. This is the zeolite cave. Which I suspect... I'm gonna need to place a mine in in order to get zeolite. But it's not the path to the Mushroom Kingdom. And I've, I'm now pushing my luck. So I'm gonna fly through it. Yeah, I know where I am now. I know... I know vaguely where I am. I, I might have gone through there? I'm not sure. Uh, but I'm... I think I'm quite near Alpha Base. I'll be able to get some more oxygen there. I think I'm right above Alpha Base. Whew. Alright. Stop over. Take a breather. And I'll head back. Aborted expedition, but I got some stuff out of it. And some information, those pods definitely look like human sleeping pods. I mean, it's entirely possible that I might need to have to, I might need to wake up some colonists. Alright, let's put some stuff away. That one. A couple of super alloys. I might utilize, I'll tell you what. Not there. This oxygen multiplier fuse, I wonder if it would work on those plant... Oh, well, it must work on those. That's the only thing that produces oxygen. And I've got, I think, the uranium now to... Do... That. No, I've got 10 uranium. It's pushing it. I'm full of iron. I'm not full of titanium. I think I'm full of silicon. I've got one spare. And I've got one whole sulfur. And two rocket engines, which is good. We're halfway to Flora. Now, heat needs to go up by a lot more. Let's look at that recipe for the tier 5 heater. 
three super alloy, two iridium rods, and an explosive powder. Yeah, explosive powder. I need a reliable source of sulfur, don't I? That gives me four mushrooms with which I can make more bioplastic. Uh, food level is low. Eat a bean. That won't be a problem. Bioplastic, uh, silicon and water. Easy. Two silicon, two water bottles. Store excess water in here. I will need a bit of extra cobalt. for oxygen. And that gives me a relatively steady supply of bioplastic nuggets, which I should think about using. That was water. Now... I'm gonna have to find some source of sulfur again. Or mine it. I don't get the mine yet, do I? That's in the wrong thing. I don't get the mine for a bit, don't I? Oh no, soon I get the tier 2 mine. That might allow me to, uh... Make... Sorry, I just cracked my knuckles there. I shouldn't do that. It's rude. Four hundred thirty per second. Pressure, uh, 28.4. Per second, energy minus 61. I've got a bit of extra spare energy, but I'm going to need to think about making more of it. I really need that fusion. I'm running low on uranium. I'm going to have to find a cave somewhere. But what I can do, I think... Ah, I don't have the sulfur for it yet. That's what I'm That's what I'm bothered about. Okay, fine. Algae. I've got enough for two algae generators. I'm certain of it. I must do. Alright. I need fertilizer. I need another fertilizer. It's eggplant and sulfur. I think I only need one sulfur, though. Algae, wasn't it, as well? There we go. And that lets me have two fertilizer. Four bioplast nuggets, two more water bottles. And four more super alloy, right? Yeah. No, two magnesium and four super alloy. Okay. Alright, two more algae generators. How much energy is this costing me? Uh, 32 each. Okay. Increasing my plant growth by a ways. I've got the Lerma seed for an extra uh, plant rocket if I need it. Which I might. 20 tons of plants. How am I doing with the biomass index? 80 tons until I get that beehive. 15 tons until I get the upgraded food grower. And I'm going to leave my excess rocket engines in here. I should... I need uranium, though. Still, it did it, uh, maximize my oxygen output without increasing my energy usage. And that would probably, therefore, be actually quite a good idea. So, um, I don't know why I got the water bottles. I don't need it. Are we having a thing? Is that just a sandstorm, or we're expecting some resources to fall out of the sky? It's just a sandstorm, I think. Disappointing. What did I need? Oh, I've got to do a gas extractor, but I still need zeolite for that. Alright, what am I what am I looking for? Machine optimizer. Explosive powder. Alright, I need sil I need sil um uh, uh, uh sulfur. So gotta go find it. I'll see you when I do. Well, I've gone deeper into this cave. This is behind the aluminium zone. 
uh, near those uh, large spiky formations. So there's some in here. Not much though. A little bit. I'm focusing entirely on sulfur. The rest can wait. Especially iridium. The only thing I'll make an exception for is if I somehow come across zeolite. Oh, okay. This passes right through to sort of where Epsilon base is. Mm, give it a second. Did I already have that access? I might have already known that information. There's lots of iridium here. Double checking. I've, I've I've cleared this place, which I have not, of sulfur. Doesn't go up any further. All right. Well, there might be a cave or something around here. I mean, let's let's have a look. See this stuff. It's aluminium. This isn't the whoa. What? Okay. Odd. This is like the moon here. Another rocket engine, some sulfur, some uranium, a bioplastic nugget. I'll take the aluminium even. And the lerma seed. What a weird looking place. Is that it? That's it! Zeolite! Oh, there it is. Uh, get all of it. I know I was talking about this super alloy here. Alright, I'm coming back here to give this a nice long sweep. Oh, I saw one piece of zeolite. That's all I've seen so far. Here. No, that's iron. I've got a zeolite. I can make my tier 2 um, upgrade at the very least. This has been here all the time. I know. I, how did I not go into this place? Pulsar Quartz, isn't it? Yeah, Pulsar Quartz. There's Pulsar Quartz and Magnetar Quartz. How did I manage to avoid going into here? I mean, I saw it. I know I've seen it. There's not much zeolite here, but there's more than zero. Uranium rod, blueprint microchip. Uh, the uranium is obviously good. Let's try and get more zeolite. Just a little bit more. Not much, I'm not asking for a lot. Just at least two more. It's a really weird environment. I'll leave the iridium rods behind. Is that osmium as well? Come on. There's got to be a little bit more here. Yes. I've got a bit of time. I'm not- I shouldn't be worrying so much. Aluminium, come on. Another uranium rod. All right, I'm making a new nuclear reactor and another blueprint microchip. All right, note to self. Well, near enough to Epsilon base. I mean, I can hardly miss this location. Come on. Glowing blue white rocks. And I know where it uh, where to come out to get back to here. So I've got to I've got to remember to keep coming back. I, I'm sure I keep saying I've got to remember to come back here and then forgetting to actually do that and return and Scour stuff out, but um, and I got plenty of sulfur. All right, good to know. And zeolite is going in there as well. Let's decode, de decode, decode these microchips. Tier three blueprint pinning. Tier three deconstruction. All right, what does that take? Uh. 
Blazar Quartz and Magnetar Quartz. I know where to get Magnetar Quartz, I don't know where to get Blazar Quartz. I can do this one right now, and I'm going to. I got a Methane Cartridge here, and a Zeolite right here. And of course, the Tier 2 Deconstruction Ship is on me. Now if I can f I, I know where to get Magnetar Quartz, and I will pick some of that up, so I've got it on hand. Blazar Quartz going to be a little bit more difficult. Uh, I really want to try out and see what those uh, things are made of. Those, um, uh, those. Uh, I'm not even sure what they are. Those devices you need a tier two, my uh, tier two deconstructor to make. All right, there's three uranium rods. I need the explosive powder, which means I need two more sulfur back. And a iridium, an iridium. Uh, super alloy and some water bottles. Done. I think it was three, right? Yes. Let's put it down. Also, I don't know if I mentioned I deconstructed some nuclear... Um, reactors back at beta base and uh, placed another one down here so I've got a lot of nuclear reactors running now. Now that oxygen, well that, that machine, how close am I? It's 57% still a ways away. That machine optimizer, two explosive powder. All right, fine. And the uh, uh, uranium, I don't have enough for another uranium rod so that's out of the window. But I'll make the explosive powder. And put it in crafted for later consumption. So I guess I'm putting this back. And I've got three rocket engines just there. Not the... that. The Lerma seed. How's my crop doing? Not done yet. I can even I can see it from here that it's not done. All right. You know what I'm gonna do? Just to be safe, I'm gonna build some struts. Just to eventually get it started. Where are they? Foundation grid. And there we go. That at least looks like it's supported. I can remove some of those if I want to go down a level, which I might actually be able to drop down here and create it a sort of sub. Uh, an under level. I know. I'm going around. I'm going to refill inside. And I'm going to eat a bean. And put back the rest of my iron. And put that away that single aluminium. And that seed. Which I'm starting to run out of space for. I'm going to have to put the Lerma seed in crafted for now. I know it's not technically crafted because it's a Lerma seed. I'm just going to grab some water. All of it. And maybe see about... Well, there, there, there must be something in these mines. I'll grab the cobalt, which I do need, and the titanium. Plenty of titanium and cobalt in this one. That's good. Okay. Okay. That gives me a bit of extra stuff, particularly the titanium. The rest can just sit in there. I'll pick it up when I need it at the moment. I'm, I've got nowhere to put it, even if I could pick it up. The titanium is is welcome. That's bio. Cobalt. Come on. Okay. Another sandstorm. I need to go hunting for more materials again, so I'm 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 gonna You know what? I'm gonna go back to that I'm gonna go back to that uh glowy place and see if I can get more zeolite and see if I can find some Bal Balthazar or Bal Balzar. Quartz or whatever it was. 
along with magnetar quartz. If I can get that, I can be at tier 3 deconstructing before I even know I need it. Where is... Uh, I might have actually... There really might not be that much. There's a, a few... These are just pulsar quartz. I need magnetar or, or bolts. There's the mushroom kingdom. I don't have the materials for that. Um, silicon. I, I could make it silicon, titanium, aluminium. Let's uh, let's put that down. Silicon. There must be a titanium around here. There is an aluminium. I know there is around here. Okay. Put that down. I'm just gonna put it on the ground. And I know it's gonna be here is gonna be the entrance to the mushroom kingdom. Make it all purpley. It's the mushroom caves, right? The mushroom river. Not rover. The mushroom river. All right, that gets me down there. Go on. Yeah. No. Ah, uh, I really should have more. Do you think I could? I mean, Epsilon Base isn't near, isn't far away. Uh, I want to find, I want to find that, uh, that chest that had stuff in it. I had too much good stuff in it. I don't want to leave behind another rocket engine, some uranium I need, some explosive powder, Pestera seed. And that delves out to there. Some really interesting uh, things. How did I go past this? I'm 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 weird at exploring. I always end I end up finding it eventually. What I'm looking for. All right, I could stage out from Epsilon Base in here, I suppose. My question is, can I afford a quick? Quick look. Could I? Is there any reason I can't put a tier two crafting bench outside? There's a law against that. Okay, good to know. I want to explore, but uh, I've got so much stuff on me, and I want to save my oxygen. I have to use another one. Take more super alloy, aluminium. Pick up the cobalt I'll need to replace it and keep my eye out for zeolite. But I see a little bit. It's easier to spot when it's dark. Oh, I can't see where that goes. That just seems like it goes down forever for some reason. I know it doesn't. I'm sure it doesn't. But I don't want to test it out. More zeolite, another pressure multiplier rod, some super alloy, some aluminium and iridium rod, some uranium. Alright, I'm taking this back to Delta Base. Screw it. Uh, the crop should have come in by now. More super alloy. More uranium. No, that's iridium. Wrong place. More uranium. More iridium. Aluminium. An iron and a silicon. And let's pick up this and make some more bioplastic nuggets. I think I should stop picking up the eggplants now. I'm running out of space for that. I'm going to have to make more fertilizer. It was silicon and a water bottle. Alright, more bioplastic nuggets. Take that back. I don't need them in there. Foliar tree seed and all this tree bark. I'm not picking up any more tree bark because I've got uh, no use for it. I'm out of space. I'm just out of space. Okay. This requires two explosive powder. The tier five. All right, two iridium rods, one explosive powder, three super alloy. 
Okay, I can make two and have enough for the machine optimizer. So that means I need six super alloy and uh, four iridium rods. I've got two. I think I can make two more. Yes, literally everything. And six super alloy, done. I don't even need to deconstruct. I was thinking of deconstructing these. Alright, this will need another level on it, won't it? What I'm going to do... Three iron, three titanium, two more super alloy. Is literally just... Because I cannot be bothered coming up with any, any better ideas. I'm just going to plop that on top. Nope. Now, will I be able to... Well, oh, hang on. I need to be able to get there first. Uh, what was a ladder? Iron and a coal bolt. Can I just... No, it needs to be somewhere else. Right, on this side, and that means I have to go up and over and up. Orbital information screen. Alright, I'll look into that. Okay, this doesn't fit in a room, which means it must go outside. I'm hoping it does. That means I can take down this... Oh, God's sake. Oh, I think I might have really screwed up there. You can't accidentally pop it through the floor. I'm going to have to... How do I get out if I've done that? Okay, that, by, by doing that. Bit of a mistake. What I meant to do was deconstruct that and not the, and not the ladder that was here. A little awkward when that happens. I've got to s s get out of deconstruct mode. I prefer it in satisfactory where you press a button to go into deconstruct mode. All right, do these heaters go outside then? <laughs> God damn it. Yes, they do. Well, I can go over here with all my other shit that I'm uh, trying to keep away from everything else. Yeah, on this side of the drills. Giving myself plenty of space to put some extra, put some more of these around. Those will do a lot for my heat. I just assumed they'd go inside. I didn't think the tier 3 heater would go inside, so I just assumed that would go inside. Okay. I need to head back to the Mushroom River. Put that away. Put the titanium away. What was it? I want to do this first before I forget about it. And uh, just a uranium rod, if I have enough, which I do. How am I doing with energy? 510 kilowatts and heat, by the way. Heat is going up a lot. Let's try to do that same thing with oxygen. I'm going to pop down a machine optimizer around my plants. Uh, nearest to the tier 3. In fact, I should start thinking about upgrading the, the, the tier 2 flower spreaders to tier uh, 3 flower spreaders. Now, these are both tier 3, so I'm going to place it near this one. I need the thing. I need the fuse. I'm hoping it'll reach. Quite a ways away. It is affecting that one. I can't... It, it does seem to be affecting that one. I can check. So this will be doing... Ooh, plus 800%. That's the same for this one. Does distance not matter? 900%, oddly enough. 
This isn't being increased. But this is 1,000 and... What is... What's the number? What does that number mean? No. 500%. I suppose it's telling me other boosts as well. But that means oxygen is going up by a bigger number as well. I can't... I can't seem to get my head around... To, uh, those, those, those numbers are now too big for me to really understand what they mean. Global spreader. Gives a global generation bonus uh, by spreading seeds from outer space. I should stop cracking my knuckles. Almost at the tier 2, um... Grower, and then I'll finally be able to make trees. Place on a water surface. That's odd. But whatever you say... Okay. I need a... I'm gonna put my... Bioplastic away here. I am going to put my super alloy away here. I am going to put... A couple of cobalt. I'm gonna grab two more. And I'm gonna go check out the Mushroom River after I have drunk some water. High time I got more information about this. Just to fill me out entirely, I'm gonna eat a bean. Okay, the Mushroom River. We're gonna we're gonna get to the bottom of this, quite literally. In point of fact.